There's another Oahu race with a lot at stake. State Senator Sam Sloan is the only Republican in the state Senate. But former city councilman, Democrat Stanley Chang, wants to change that. Bridget Namata continues our election coverage. Bridget? Joe, there's 74 year old state senator Sam Sloan who's had health issues recently, but he tells me he's still got enough fire in him to finish what he wants to do reduce government spending. And then you have challenger 33 year old Stanley Chang who tells me if he becomes senator, he will get things done. They say they've got a great deal of respect for each other, and though both are very different, both say get to the polls tomorrow. One day to go. The absentee would have been from last year. Hello, okay. Ms. Victoria I Chiro, call, please. I'm just the scene was similar at Hawaii Democratic headquarters. We are regulars at the coffee bar downstairs uh, from our uh, headquarters. And GOP headquarters. A lot of excitement in the air, fun, but yes, <laughs> but it was just well. As volunteers make last minute calls before voters head to the polls to choose the next president of the United States, there's one local race they're closely monitoring. Who wins the Senate seat to represent Hawaii Kai? Senator Sam Sloan has held the position for 20 years. Sloan is the only Republican to hold a state Senate seat, and he doesn't want to let go. I'll still be the Lone Ranger, and I'll still be, you know, somebody that tries to prove you can disagree without being disagreeable. His opponent, Democrat Stanley Chang, who Sloan calls a great campaigner. I've personally now knocked on over 16,000 doors. Chang, a former city council member, says this election is about somebody who can deliver for the district. Given my track record, we really need somebody who can, um, I think, effectively tackle the problems of today, whether that's homelessness, affordable housing, good jobs, our education system. There's a long list of challenges, and East Honolulu needs a seat at that table. Sloan says he'll leave tomorrow up to fate. This is not my seat. It belongs to the people. If they want somebody else, they'll do that, and, and I'm fine with that. And I'll continue doing what I've always done, that's advocating for small business, for the taxpayers, and for the voters in this community. It's a race, political analyst Dr. John Hart says he'll be watching. Stanley has spent a lot of money. He's been very motivated. He's done a lot of door-to-door. -door. Uh, Sam is the last Republican in the Senate. Uh, he's had some health issues. I think basically his strategy is people know who he is, and if they want to return him, they'll return him. If Senator Slum loses his seat and Stanley Chang wins, Hawaii would become the first state in the nation to have a one-party legislative body since 1980. Bridget Namata, KHON 2 News. If you encounter any issues while voting tomorrow, we'd like to hear from you. Report it at KHON2.com or through the KHON2 mobile app. Stay tuned to KHON2 tomorrow, Election Day. We'll have national coverage of the presidential race starting at 2 p.m. Hawaii time, with local coverage starting at 5 p.m. and continuing throughout the night with national updates throughout the evening. Wheel of Fortune will air on our sister station tomorrow. That's Hawaii's CW. You can also follow the latest election developments on our website.